Today I'm going to help you troubleshoot the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the volume issues you've been having specifically when you plug this into your computer and use it with Zoom. Now this is a highly specific question that I'm answering, but it's come up a few times and I wanna make sure that some of the advice that I'm giving gives you accurate information, especially for the here and now. So it is 2022 and the microphone that you will get if you order a wireless microphone from Rode is oftentimes the Rode Wireless Go 2. Now the original packaging comes with two microphones, two microphone pieces, so, so you can have two people or one you know, connected to your music and one to you, something like that, but you can also purchase it with just one microphone if you didn't need to. So the original one we're not using as much anymore, it's not as available, but the Rode Wireless Go 2 is most common. And what you might find in the package is a couple charging cables. And they tell you that you can plug this directly in from the receiver to the computer and use it that way. And you can, however, you can't change the volume. And where do you change the volume, you might ask? A couple different places. So on the receiver here, you'll see, if I turn it on here, oops, try to get not get a glare. Um, you'll see on the bottom, there's this button that has like a little microphone and it says DB. I think that's something about decibels. I'm not a fancy tech wizard. I just try things out here, okay? So I don't know, I don't know the exact whys, but I do know how. So you click this button and what you're going to see, if you have the version I have, there's this little triangle that is a third fill, two thirds full, and all the way full. So that's the volume, it's low, medium, and high. You might have a bar across that has, maybe there's five settings, I, I can't recall, but there's more, where if it's less filled, it's lower volume, more filled is higher volume. For me, I typically keep it at the medium volume level, so somewhere in the middle. That works really well for my voice. And when you're on Zoom, and we're gonna actually plug this in and I'll show you where you can change the volume setting. If you don't wanna change the volume setting on your device, you can change it through Zoom. So you go to the bottom, right here, bottom corner, where it says uh, this microphone option, hit this arrow and go to audio settings. I don't have this plugged in right now, but I wanna show this to you. So I'm just using my um, built-in microphone and you can see the bouncing bars. So here we have the choice to automatically adjust the microphone volume or, or we can adjust it here to quieter or louder, okay? So this is where you could adjust the volume. Actually, you have some more options as well, such as suppressing the background noise or using, um, let's see, a few other things to show in meeting option for original sound, echo cancellation. So you can play with all of these settings if you'd like to play more with them. However, what I'm going through today is this input volume. So I'm troubleshooting the volume issues that you might be having, okay? All right, so they say that you can plug this in with a charging cable. It's a USB-C to USB-A. Now, if you have a newer computer, it might be USB-C to USB-C that's going to work. But my 2015 MacBook Pro has a USB-A, so I'm gonna plug it in that way. And how do you change your microphone? Well, you wanna make sure that it's on, first of all. So it's on, and then again, go down here, <laughs> go down here and hit this little arrow and you'll see select a microphone. If you plug it in through the USB charging cable, you'll see wireless go to RX. Awesome, select that as your microphone. And it's, it's nice that it's not confusing that it doesn't show up as a speaker option as well because we don't wanna set the speaker as our microphone, that's just not what we need. We wanna keep the speaker as the built-in internal computer. So if someone talks at us on Zoom, we can still hear them. So we set it to the wireless go to, and let's check out the audio settings. So here's what's unfortunate about this. If you, you can click automatically adjust, sure, and that could work, but you cannot change, no matter how much I try, I cannot change the input volume. There's no option. And really this doesn't do much either. So you actually cannot change the volume in Zoom. And I did a test before where I hit this DB button on the bottom here and tried out different sound settings and it, it stayed the same. And it's pretty low, the volume's pretty low, it, it doesn't come out the best 
and you really don't have many options with that. So it's unfortunate that the audio settings you can't change and also you can't change it using the receiver. So <laughs> you're kind of out of luck there. However, I have a workaround and it's the same thing that I shared in the troubleshooting video, troubleshooting the Rode Wireless Go 1 and 2, and it's to use the other cable setup and they are sold separately. So I will link them down below. Make sure you use those links, especially if you're in the US. I am not affiliated with the Rode brand at all, but I am an Amazon affiliate, which means I make this much commission by uh, sharing these links with you if you use them. Now, if you're not in the US, don't worry about it. Just find these cables somewhere. Um, but if you can, use my links because I would much, much appreciate it. So it's a win-win for all of us, okay? All right, so I'm gonna unplug this now. So the charging cable, eh, it, it works, but it doesn't really. You can't change the volume, and that's a big deal. So the recommendation that I have is you're going to use this separate cable. It is sold separately. This is the Rode SC7 cable. It is the black to gray, <laughs> black to gray. This is a TRRS, it's got three rings, and this is a TRS, it's got two rings. Now I also have an off-brand somewhere, I think. You can get this as an off-brand and it looks pretty much the same and it's $10, otherwise this one's $15. Uh, this one on Amazon is sometimes sold out, so I'll link both of them below so you can see. They both work the same, it's fine. What you're going to do is take the receiver, use this little output here, it's not the USB-C now, it's right below it, and then plug this into your computer. So this works directly into your computer if you have a newer Mac computer and some other computers work too. And I can show you where that is, but again, I don't think I will. I think I'll just link this video up here, troubleshooting the um, Rode Wireless Go 1 and 2. Watch that after this. So some, sometimes you can plug this right into your computer. Sometimes you need an adapter. So sometimes it needs to be plugged in through USB-C. And this is the case with my 2015 MacBook Pro. I need the USB-C. So here's what I'm gonna plug in and I'll show you what happens now. So I plugged it in and it shows up as, well, it'll, hold on a second. It shows up as USB audio device. Remember, you're just changing the microphone, not the speaker. So although it's an option for the speaker, leave the speaker as the built-in. Now, if we go to audio settings, we can now manually adjust. So now you see it doesn't just bounce to the bottom. We can actually set it down low or we can bring it up higher. And so you can change the input volume yourself or, or uh, keep it on automatic. And if you change the volume, on the Rode Wireless Go, here, click, 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 click in the bottom right here. Uh, it will also adjust on Zoom, okay? So basically, if you're going to use the charging cable, I, I would just not. Um, these two cables, the USB and the SC7, it's gonna be 15 and $10. Or if you get the off-brand, it's 10 and 10. Not a big deal for great audio, and you want to be able to adjust your audio. So make sure you, you check out the links down below, my Amazon list, and all of the things. If you're interested in the Rode Wireless Go 2, you can also check that out down below. I have all the links there for you. But again, if you're in other countries, just find this somewhere. My primary reason for doing these videos is not to make sales, it's to help you. This is not my main source of income, this is me doing this for fun. And if you want to work with me, I actually help yoga teachers build businesses and work online. So it goes beyond troubleshooting technology. This is just what I like to share through YouTube. So I'm glad you found this and hope this was helpful. I don't know why this happens. All I know is a workaround and how to avoid it. So good luck. I know it's gonna be a, another couple days before you get these cables, but definitely get them, invest in them. And if anything, make sure you at least have this cable that's sold separately. It's not the one that comes with because this is what you're going to use with a phone or a tablet or an iPad, okay? So you want this one anyway. All right, hope this helped. Now go off and have good audio.